Hi everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 1 and we are at week 17. So today for math we are learning the area of a square and that is the area of a square equals the length of its side squared. Last week was the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. This week the area of a square equals the length of its side squared. And all the sides of a square are the same length, so that's why we only need to square it, multiply it by, this, by the same number. Okay, so then we have English, and for English we have the helping verbs, and this week they are may, must, might. So last week we had the helping verbs, the helping verbs, the helping verbs are do, does, did, has, have, had, may, must, might. So this week it's may, must, might. And in class, we will say that part a little louder than we say all the other helping verbs. And that is English this week. For history, we are learning about the Aztecs. And so we're going to put this to some motions as we sing it to the tune that Cece provides. And a lot of these motions repeat from things we've learned in the timeline before or just other hand motions that we've already learned. So they look like this. The Aztecs used pyramids and rituals of human. So we're going to make an H and we're going to go from the top of our body down to our waist. So of human sacrifice. And for sacrifice, you start just like this and you're just giving it up. That's the ASL sign for sacrifice. So the Aztecs used pyramids and rituals of human sacrifice. Their civilization began to fall when Hernan, we're going to do an H, Cortez, a C, uh, of Spain. The sign for Spain is to go like this and take it to the middle, okay? So Hernan Cortez of Spain defeated Montezuma, this is an M, Montezuma II in 1519. And we're just doing the sign for 15 there. Okay, so all together, it's the Aztecs used pyramids and rituals of human sacrifice, their civilization began to fall when Fernan Cortez of Spain defeated Montezuma II in 1519. And those are our motions for history. For geography, we are going to learn about African countries. So we will first use our maps that CC provides in our guide. We have laminated maps for our community. So we will, uh, I will show them and then they will show me and tell me and we will color them with our colored dry erase markers. And then we will go through singing it to this fun tune that I found on CC Connected, which I will link the user below because I can't think of it right off the top of my head. But it sounds like this and it's to the tune of I like to move it move it from the movie Madagascar so do 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 African countries African countries African countries African countries Zimbabwe South Africa Madagascar Ethiopia Mozambique ooh 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 African countries African countries African countries African countries and I think that's from the movie Madagascar, uh, which is appropriate because we're learning where Madagascar is. So that's kind of a fun way to remember the African countries that we're learning this week. For Latin, we have the second declension noun endings, and we're going to use the tune that Cece provides for these noun endings. And last time we went through these for weeks five and six, we actually pretended that we were donning all of our snow gear, our warm clothes, scarves, beanies, gloves, and we took turns uh, leading the class on a sleigh ride, since this is to the tune, the first part of Jingle Bells, which is dashing through the snow. So we are going to take turns pretending that we are going on those sleigh rides again. We'll have Jingle Bells and we'll put on all of our warm clothes and we will do the tune as we roam around the room following the leader. And half of the class will have a turn to go this week. Next half will have a turn to go next week. And for a timeline, we are learning Napoleon. This is an N. So Napoleon crowned 
emperor. So we're going to make an E for emperor and go down like a sash like we usually do for royalty of France. And we've learned this motion just last week. And then we have the liberation of South America. So for that, we're gonna take our hands like this and we're gonna be liberated or saved. And then of South America, we're gonna take one of these S's and move it south for South America. Then we have the War of 1812. So for war, we go like this. And then that war ended with lots of bombs. And so we're gonna do the sign for bombs, which is to take your hands like this and go up like that. So the War of 1812. And then we have the Missouri Compromise. So we're going to take our hand like we're thinking, and then we're going to take those and meet in the middle as a compromise. We're thinking the same. Okay, so the Missouri Compromise. Immigrants flock to America. We're going to do the sign for entering. So immigrants flock to America. And then we have the Monroe Doctrine. And for that, uh, that was about the expansion of the United States. So we're going to do the sign for expanding. Uh, and that was like expanding from sea to shining sea. So we're starting here and we're growing. And then the next one was Romantic Period of the Arts, and that was a time characterized by lots of emotion in the arts. So we are going to show lots of emotion, and we're gonna take our hands like this for, and then back up and smile. So, okay, and for science, we have what are some parts of a volcano, and they are magma, vents, lava, crater, and gases. And in class this week, we are going to do this in volcano style, because what more appropriate way could we do that? And so volcano style is just to start out with a whisper and then get louder as you move down the things that you're remembering. And so as we do the volcano style for this, we're actually going to start low on the ground with a whisper. So we'll say magma, then we'll say vents, then we have lava, and crater, and gases, and we're moving our fingers really fast for gases. So it's magma, vents, lava, crater, gases, and that is some parts of a volcano. And that's all of our memory work this week. For review today or this week, we are probably going to use our little Norwal shooter and we'll have some subjects posted up on the board and we'll take turns shooting to whichever subject we can hit and then we will review uh, that subject and I'll just pick the weeks and uh, circulate them through all the weeks that we need to review so far. And that's how we'll do review. So. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you all next week for week 18. Bye!